In this video, I'll be creating a provisioning package that configures original settings in out of the box experience. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this video. The main one is to create a bare minimum provisioning package that goes from out of the box experience to user's desktop with original settings without any user interaction. And here you can see all the actions that will be performed by the provisioning package. First, it will skip the out of the box experience, then it will launch a PowerShell script called UBI setup. And the script will skip the privacy experience, create a local administrator's account, configure the power settings so that the computer does not go to sleep during the provisioning process. It will execute another script called UBI original, and this will configure all the original settings that you see here. So the region, the locale, and then home location, keyboard settings, time zone, and all the configuration will be for Hungarian region. And after that, it will also configure run once to execute another script called desktop provisioning. And this will script will change the user interface language to Hungarian. And I'm using run once to execute that desktop provisioning script because when changing the language using PowerShell commands, sometimes the language needs to be downloaded. And that means that we need to ensure an internet connection before we can change the interface language. And now I will be downloading all the necessary files for my package and I have all of them here in my GitHub page. I will start with UBI setup and as you can see here it will execute UBI original script, then it will move few files from the provisioning package to the local computer. After that it will create a local administrator's account, it will disable the privacy experience menu and also it will configure run once to execute the desktop provisioning script. And after that, it will also configure power settings. Now to download the script, I will click on the button right here. Then I will go back to my GitHub page and then let's check out UBI original script. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple PowerShell script. Here we're changing the time zone to Budapest. After that, we're changing all the original settings to Hungarian. Make sure if you're using the script that you change also the home location to whatever region you want. And also we're using this command to copy all the settings from the user to the welcome screen and also new user accounts. And also to download this script, I will click on the button right here, go back to my GitHub page and then check out the last script, desktop provisioning. And here first I'm waiting for the internet connection because like I said, changing the interface language via PowerShell requires an internet connection. Here we are setting the language to Hungarian. This script will check if the computer has the language installed and if not then it will download the language and also set it as the preferred ui language anyways now i will click on the button right here to download this script and then i will go to my downloads folder to check if i have all the files yes we have all of them so three scripts desktop provisioning ubi regional ubi setup one thing to know that all the scripts that will begin with ubi will be executed inside of the provisioning package and desktop provisioning will be executed outside of the provisioning package in the user's desktop. Anyways, now I will start creating my package and for that I will go to Windows Configuration Designer, click on File, New Project, here I will name the project Regional, Dash Settings, let's click Next, Next, here I will select all Windows Desktop Editions, Next, Next and Finish. And first I will be skipping out of the box experience, so for that I will go to Runtime Settings, UBI, and here for Hide UBI I will select True. So this will disable all the user interactions in the out of the box experience. And now for executing the scripts that are responsible for configuring the original settings, I will go to Provisioning Commands, Device Context, then I will click on Command Files, here I will click Browse, I will go to my downloads folder, I will select all the scripts in my downloads folder that I downloaded from the GitHub page and click open. Then I will click add here, as you can see the files appeared here in the provisioning package. And now for executing the UBI setup script, I will go back to my GitHub page. And here I have the command that I will be using to execute it. As you can see, we're launching PowerShell, setting the execution policy to bypass and also the, then providing the file that we want to execute. I will click on the button right here to copy this line, go back to my package. I will insert the line in here, in the command line. Then I will insert it here and that's basically it. Now we can create our provisioning package. And for that we can need to go to export, provisioning package, next, next, 
next and build then i will click on output location and the only file that we care about in here is the one that ends with ppkg extension so I right click on it select copy then i will go to my usb drive and then i will place the provisioning package inside of this usb drive and now to test this provisioning package i will go to my vmware workstation where i have this windows 11 virtual machine that is inside of the out of the box experience and the only thing that i need to do for it to execute the provisioning package is to connect the usb drive to this virtual machine then windows 11 will detect the provisioning pro package and it will automatically start the provisioning process so i'll go to vm removable devices and i will connect the usb drive now we can wait a bit as you can see the provisioning process has started so we need to wait a bit more for it to finish and as you can see the provisioning process is over and here we have a script running that is responsible for changing the user interface language to hungarian because like you see currently everything is english because my windows image and installation image is in the english language so let's wait for the script to finish installing hungarian and as you can see the script that is responsible for changing the user interface language has finished executing we get this message saying all done and for all settings to apply we need to restart the computer so i will go to my start menu and reboot And now the virtual machine has been rebooted and let's check our settings so for the keyboards we have hungarian as our main one and then english as the secondary one i will select english for now as you can see all the user interface elements are in hungarian also if i go to settings then language and somewhere here we can see that the time zone is set to budapest also, all the interface is in Hungarian. It's a bit hard for me to navigate because I don't know this language. Now for the regional settings, we can see that everything is also Hungarian. And let's go to the old regional settings. And everything here is for Hungarian region. Same goes for this setting right here. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.